Gosh, almost 40 years ago, I, I took my first trip to a, a Spanish speaking country in Dominican Republic and really enjoyed it. And then I started taking annual trips to Mexico to, to poor areas um, with on um, with mission trips and then trips to help create businesses and jobs. And um, so I would go back to the same places where many people didn't speak English. And I loved the people and I loved the culture. And I felt like many of them became friends, but I realized I didn't really know their story and I didn't know how to converse with them. So that made me really want to learn to be able to do that. I knew I had a better opportunity to get education and help to learn that. And then I've lived for 25 years in Colorado where it was once part of Mexico. <laughs> And we have many people that speak um, Spanish as their native language and more and more every day, literally. Um, and, and I just kept traveling more and more to, to Spain and Central and South America and different parts of Mexico. And I confirmed how much I like the language. It's a beautiful language and how much I like the culture in, in these places. So I, I committed a few years ago, a couple of, to trying to find a good way to learn Spanish. I uh, was like many Americans. I knew a few words, probably pronounced them poorly, and I would just speak louder. That was my way of trying to communicate. <laughs> well, once I committed to trying to learn, I started trying different tools. So I'd used Rosetta Stone, Duolingo, Babbel when they came, searched for podcasts, and, and some were had some good, good things on them, but they tended to be just about particular topics. And I didn't find I was learning it. So when I came across LearnCraft Spanish and listened to a few of the podcasts, I became very interested. And that's when I found out about the, the one month challenge and the approach that, that LearnCraft takes. So I did a one month challenge and uh, within just a few weeks, I found that working with the coaches and having the opportunity to, to use the videos and to get the, get the help and encouragement from the way Timothy describes things and the coaches did, my enthusiasm increased really every day, my confidence, and I was really enjoying the process because I felt like I was actively, actively learning to communicate. You know, partially, I just didn't know once I realized the time commitment, you know, that I needed to do it daily. Um, I, I was a little hesitant. And then I realized like if I want to learn it, like anything else I've ever learned, I need to work on a little bit um, consistently. And, um, and certainly when you pay money for something, you know, you want it to be effective. And, um, but I felt like I was really understanding the language, how it was structured. And I realized like over time I could build more and more vocabulary and have the foundation to add the vocabulary. So I, I felt really good about it. I've continued for quite a long time now. Yeah, there's a few things. One. The, 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 the course is laid out in a really thoughtful way where you learn the most commonly used words and phrases first and you learn the structure of grammar. And I found that understanding that and how verbs are conjugated and starting with the most common ones, I can easily add phrases and words to my vocabulary um, no matter where I go. And I've been traveling to different places in Spain, Latin America for the last year and a half. And I find within a few days in any new place, I can understand the, the particular phrases they use that might be different. And I can easily start to add vocabulary, whether I'm out in the countryside or in a city, whether I'm working with people in an office or working in textiles or agriculture. And I, and I touch all those things. So I found that was unique. And then it's just well-structured so that I can write sentences, I can journal, and I'm encouraged to do that. I can submit those and they're corrected. I can submit speaking and it's very quickly corrected. And then my coach helps me with encouragement when I need it, because um, it's it's it can be hard at times and sometimes I need that extra coaching to help. And then I know I get to converse um, with someone. And I also know that the coaches speak to each other. So whoever reads my homework and listens to my speaking submission also talks to my coach and they, they're able to help me work on the things that I most need to, to focus on. I think with the coaching, it's helped me just gain confidence because there, I, there's a big difference between reading and writing um, and speaking and listening. <laughs> so um, all the, the reading and writing is really important um, because it allows me to think. And then what I've learned with almost anything I've ever learned 
it's important to just get faster and faster. And um, as I've ventured back and forth to Latin America and Spain over the last year and a half, I find that you know my speaking gets more fluid each time and my listening is getting much, much better. Um, I can have lengthy one-on-one conversations or with one or, or two or three people and continue the conversation well, just using some of what I've been taught, which is use the words I have and the phrases I have. And if I need to ask, ask questions so they'll clarify and I learn new, new words all the time. It's still challenging for me now to listen to a large table full of people speaking in Spanish to each other quickly. Um, but I can generally understand. And even then I can often ask and, and feel very engaged. And, um, and so I'm, I'm very encouraged with, with what I've learned. Well, it's dramatically different and I've been going back and forth some, so I'll be in the U S for two or three months at a time and then go spend a few weeks or a few months in Latin America. And I think one of the best things about being able to do that is I don't always recognize the improvement um, myself because it's so incremental. Um, but when I go back um, or when I'm talking to friends in Latin American countries on the phone and they offer a practice with me or let me start in Spanish, they tell me how dramatically different I've improved every single time. Um, so that has I've been very thankful that I've been able to do that. And um, and I, my coach is very good at, at helping with that too, but I know he's very encouraging. <laughs> so when I go somewhere and I can go to a market or go to a store or talk to someone on the phone and actually understand uh, the conversation well, I stop and, and just am very thankful. One in my community in Denver, we have um, an increasing number of people who speak Spanish, many who are not capable of speaking English yet. So I'm fine and I'm able to really be helpful in those communities um, in a number of different ways with some volunteering and some some business things I, I help out with. But even more, I'm able to travel now uh, and do some work in these developing countries, learning about the culture while I, I work to help create jobs in developing countries in, in a number of different continents. But I'm really starting to focus now on Latin America and I absolutely love it. Um, I love the culture. I love how thankful people are, how involved they are in their families and communities. And I'm able to spend more and more time there and will likely live full time in somewhere in Latin America and possibly in Spain for, for some periods of time in the future. I'd say commit. <laughs> I think that's the most important thing. Um, when Tim said in one of the videos, instead of saying, I'm trying to learn Spanish, say, I'm a serious student of Spanish and I'm, I am learning Spanish. That was really helpful. And, um, and I think, and also in one of the videos, he, at the right time, he mentioned that you can learn the language at any age. I'm almost 60 years old. And many of my friends say it's too late to learn a language. And I'm proof that that's not true. And I think the key was um, trust that this works. It worked for me, I knew early. And then I just had to trust that even when I felt discouraged, I just had to commit um, to doing the work that my coach suggested. And um, he's always been, and all the coaches I've worked with have been very good at recommending what I need to practice and how to do it.